What's up YouTube? Luke coming at you, aka Drunk Trojan One. Um, doing my Nationals recap and some mail day. Uh, start off by thanking, uh, or at least saying that I enjoyed hanging out with a bunch of cool YouTube guys um, and meeting others. So I just really appreciate it. It was my uh, first Nationals uh, getting to meet everybody. I The only other Nationals I've been to was back in 2006 in Anaheim um, that's when I first started collecting again so this is real cool most of the time I've been deployed or unable to make national so I was real appreciative to get to go and I wasn't gonna go because the driver um, I just got back from Colorado so I was able to crash in uh, John and Michaels uh, JW Smitty um, 80 and this film not yet rated YouTube names but those guys let me crash in the room and um, Michael has a fun story that he likes to share but I won't bear repeating that so anyways <clears throat> got to hang out with a few cool people uh, Brett Boston Broncos fan 21 um, Michael AR Falco Falcon 77 um, not quite sure how to say his YouTube name yet, but uh, Everett Wenzel 88888, um, Scott uh, Scott 2244, Jesse uh, Tammy husband, and then also his wife um, Chris Sictifer 2024, um, John J W Smitty 80, uh, Michael this film not yet rated, and Joey uh, Bearcat 8. Um, got to hang out with those guys. Uh, both nights, uh, Friday and Saturday, so that was real fun. Um, really enjoyed that. The best part of the show was getting to meet all these guys. Um, other people I got to talk to and meet. Um, can't remember uh, so many different people, and they came up and said their name. And I'm sorry, I just I'm horrible with names and remembering what YouTube name goes with what real name so I'm sorry for that but I did uh, talk to Chad uh, Thundering24 for a little bit on uh, Friday night so that was real cool um, and then uh, I don't I think his name is Michael there's so many Michaels and Johns um, but uh, the Johnny Bench Collector he, he was real nice to sit and talk to and um, just other people out there I just I don't know what else, who else to thank or and say that it was cool to meet, but um, had a great time. Um, it was real fun walking around with uh, Joey. That guy's a ball of energy that I couldn't keep up with, so sometimes I just had to walk away because he was just, uh, he wouldn't stop. So, uh, on with uh, showing some of the pickups that I got. Um, I went to buy supplies today and I've seen some people do good with uh, Allen and Ginter, so I tried a couple boxes. Um, still had the, the itch from Nationals not getting to open up a lot of wax, so I opened up two boxes. First one I got uh, destroyed on, but the second one kind of made up for it a little bit. It's a Hanley Ramirez wood card, and that's a one of one. Um, and then I thought all this had dried up and still a good price at this one shop. I guess he had it in the back and brought it out. But uh, 2014 high tech and pulled this uh, Clayton Kershaw Red Storm number to 10. And that's number 7 of 10. So nice uh, Kershaw pickup right there. Probably send that guy in. And then another one for the set. Hopefully I can get this guy to grade out a 9510. Um, I'll have a nice video here soon to show my current status on that set. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, a Raz win for the Von Miller PC. But Von Miller and J.J. Watt dual auto from 2013 Momentum. Number 6 of 10. So awesome PC card there and then uh, 
one of my few show pickups. I didn't pick up a whole lot, and I had uh, um, just a set few things that I wanted to look for while I was there. They were all set cards, um, unless there was something crazy that jumped out at me and wasn't overpriced, but most everything there was. And set cards, I'll pay a little bit more for just because I want to get the sets completed. Um, but one thing I did have with me to get done was the, um, the authentication of uh, this Manning jersey. My fiance got that for me for Valentine's Day. Um, she was able to get it signed um, at work because she works for Gatorade and then I just got it authenticated so that when it goes into a frame it doesn't ever have to be busted out and get that done. <clears throat> And then I had a few cards I want to drop at BGS, and I'll save those to the end, just because I I should have done more, but those are I wanted to get in and done because they closed off the raw review real quick um, Friday, so I just wanted to get what I could in. Um, and then I still had somebody pick it up for me because I wasn't able to be there at the show on Sunday. But for the Bronco PC, uh, hopefully one day this guy makes the Hall of Fame, but. Carl Mecklenburg, the white, uh, or the albino rhino, is what he's known for, and that's the 97 uh, Upper Deck Legends, buy, and that's a buyback. Um, and then Wenzel 8888 uh, Everett um, first offered this up to the clay collector, but he uh, deferred to me because he said it fit my PC more than his, um, and I appreciate that, and I got a great price for this, but this will now go in the USC collector's case and replace the clay Cushing duel I have. Now I have the three <coughs> defensive stars from the 2009 USC team of Clay Matthews, uh, Brian Cushing, and Ray Maluga. And that one is numbered out of 30, 24 out of 30. So I appreciate that, Everett. And then, of course, RBI Crew 7. Everybody gets stuff from him because he has the best deals, and we always seem to make things work out between uh, us on stuff. And he had this in his showcase, knowing that I love this set and can't not pick them up when I see them. But for my NFL greatest set, but this is like a double, but number five of twenty-five. I already have a nine-five ten, but I always pick these things up when I see them. And Joey was able to get the Favre off of me, so I'm only down to two of those in my personal collection. Um, and then for uh, one that I know Joey and I went around the show looking for these, and they were very scarce, but I was hoping to find ones to upgrade in my set. Um, I think this one might do it, but it's uh, Dan Marino for the Spectra 50th Anniversary set, number 42 of 50. This one's super clean and was able to pick that up. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and then uh, I was able to make a deal with uh, uh, Michael, a.k.a. Harry Potter, um, set up with Ryan and uh, Sports Card Direct, Darren and Tyson, uh, Fagdorn and uh, John Summers and uh, Bundles. So, I was able to make a deal for some cards to upgrade in my set. Um, I got this one, Michael Vick, 910. I still need a 9510, but I think this one only needs a 0.5 to get the bump up to uh, 9510. Um, hopefully I can get that one to get the bump. And then uh, show this one. I had a 9, 910 of this guy, Marshawn Lynch, but this one, I like the gold bar better, so this one got is a 9.5, but it has a 9 auto, so I'm still searching for the 9.5.10. <clears throat> then I was able to get an upgrade on this one, Maurice Jones-Drew, and LaShawn McCoy. So, appreciate that, Michael, able to get my list down to... Only a few more to get the, for what's been released, uh, 9, 5, uh, 10, status for it. 
And then another card uh, Ryan actually held for me because he knew that I was doing this set. Um, but I haven't graded them. But this one looks real nice graded. Um, and I felt like a Cowboys fan because I was picking up Cowboys left and right. And it was uh, annoying the hell out of me. But uh, Tony Romo and DeMarco Murray dual patch. I have the dual jersey, but it's number 5 of 5. And it's a dual auto, 9510. It's a beautiful looking card. But the one thing that I went around searching all over the show for was the 2014 notable nicknames. I was able to uh, pick up a couple, four of them. So, got John Riggins, the Diesel. And then Randy White. See, here comes another cowboy. Randy White, the Manster. And then another cowboy. Jason Witten, the Judge. And then this one I actually got before Nationals. Um, it was in a Raz group and I tend it. And the seller was actually at the show. So it was cool for him to hand it to me. The John Elway. And he's the general, but unfortunately he didn't inscribe it. But that's four more to knock off the set checklist. <clears throat> and then on to my uh, BGS grades. I sent in seven cards. Um, one of them I was doing for a friend that we got done once and it uh, came back. It, they were questionable at one edge, so they didn't want to cross it over. But he had a... Uh, Gem Mint 10, uh, Phil Mickelson. Um, so I wanted to, did him a, f I said I was going to get it recycled because when I got it back from BGS, it was cracked. But instead of getting it recycled, I did it, I went ahead and did the raw review. I need to send it off to him tomorrow. But it got the bump to 9510. So I sent seven cards in. And I usually hope for at least a 50% return on my grades. Um, but this one I picked up. Surprised he stayed on sticker because he's known to have a crazy auto. But it ended up getting staying on sticker. And I got a sign of the times gold, number to 10. Floyd Little for my Floyd Little PC. That one graded a raw review 9, 5, 10. And then for my Virtuoso set... I'm addicted to this set, but Victor Cruz, this one's numbered out of 50, and this one got a 9510. And none of these have yet to grade a 9510. And I was, kept looking this one over, and I thought it looked better than the grades it got. And it got, what, centering 95, corners 9, edges 9, surface 9. So I needed two grades to get... Uh, the bump up to a 9510, which I did. That one made me super happy. But um, I wasn't able to pick these grades up at uh, on Sunday, so I had um, Tyson pick them up for me. And um, Joey called me saying, hey, we went and picked them up. Do you want us to... Um, open it up and tell you what you got and so I'm driving home from Chicago back to St. Louis and I was like yeah sure uh, go ahead and I, they, I think they were trying to slow roll, the, slow roll it themselves but they uh, came out and told me the first uh, they told me that Eli got the bump so I knew I was going to do good after that so I actually showed uh, some excitement and made them laugh so they were excited that I was started off pretty good, and then I think they uh, did uh, the other two that I showed off, Victor Cruz and Floyd Little. So those ones got the those ones got nine five. Then they went and and uh, did this one, and I have four of these. They're all graded nine five, but they all have a nine auto because Gronkowski likes to put streaks in his autos but this one 
I couldn't see a true streak in it. But this one got a 9 auto. But I put it in for another review. And it was originally all 9.5s subgrades. But it got two bumps. The surface got a bump to a 10, and the auto got a bump to a 10. So now I have a 9.5-10, and I think all of these that have ever been graded have a freaking 9 auto, but this one got a 10, so I'm super happy about that one. And then, I'm an Angels fan, but I really respect uh, Clayton Kershaw, and I picked this up in a in a Raz, uh, was able to win it, and graded it, and it looked super clean to me. It got two 9.5s and two 9s, and I just needed a .5 for the bump. So I was like, eh, might as well chance it. So I got the bump. This is now a 9.510 Kershaw, number to 10 out of uh, Tier 1, on card auto. Beautiful looking card. And then I was able to get this one. It's for one of my sets. It's for my team. And it's for a great quarterback. So I was able to pick up the redemption. And surprisingly, Panini got it back to me because I knew that they had them because I already have one. Now this makes two. And I was able to get the gold on this. But this is to match the jersey on this side another 9-5-10 so all seven of the cards I submitted came back 9-5-10 which is amazing I've not had a hundred percent return yet on a BGS order so super happy about that um, I plan on doing at least one more video before August 27th um, if People don't know, I'll be deploying again to Afghanistan. Um, so I'll be gone for six months and won't be making videos, but I want to do uh, two, set, um, two set updates before I leave just um, so that I can look at them <laughs> while I'm deployed and um, keep track and so everyone I can share with everyone else and let uh, you all see all this hard work I've put into and the craziness that I have gone through to get this get this all 9-5 it, it's just stupid what I've tried to do so thank you for checking out my video I uh, had a great time at nationals hopefully um, we all get to meet up again soon um, I know there was talks about possibly coming out for the pre-nationals in St. Louis um, I know Ryan wants to put something on and he likes to have one huge trade night and that'll be before my wedding and I should be able to get to go and I look forward to it. Hopefully it happens. Um, hope everyone does well and talk to you later.